All right, welcome back. I bet you're getting tired now, but we got one more super set, so stay with me. This is what I call my cardio core burnout. You're gonna do two exercises, one for your core, one to increase your cardiovascular strength. An amazing way to do two exercises back to back to really isolate those core muscles, those deep transverse muscles to really get a good warm up going with the cardio, really get a good burn when you're about to do your crunch. So we're gonna take it down to the floor for your first core exercise. Make sure you have a mat or a towel on the floor. Key with this one is form is critical, okay? So make sure you elongate your spine, pull yourself that there's a string attached to your chest. Nice tall chest, your shoulders are back, no arching in the back, okay? You wanna make sure that back is nice and flat, you're in a nice V position. Key to keep yourself in this position, again, is keeping everything upright, but keep those knees together, keep those inner thighs squeezed, so it's a nice V crunch position, taking your hands behind your back, Nice, comfortable position. You don't want to push too hard on the floor. Nice and light palms on the floor. Now you're going to kick those legs out, bring them in. They're called in and outs. Great for hitting the lower abdominals as well as contracting the uppers at the same time. And yes, I can do crunches while I'm pregnant. Check this out. All right. So you take those knees into your chest and kick them straight out. Out and in. So you see how I'm keeping my knees as close as I can together because I do have a belly in the way. You really want to make sure you try to keep those knees together as much as possible. Really important point is when you're sticking those legs out, you're stretching those legs out, kicking them out, make sure you kick them as low as you can to the ground without touching. Because when you pull them back, you really can feel that tight contraction in the lower abdominals. You're also going to feel that upper burn. So you want to repeat these in and outs for 15 times. So five, four, three, two, one. I'm feeling that. Up I go. I got a 30 second cardio blast now. We're going right into my favorite plyometric cardio blast, explosive jumps. Taking your feet, hips apart, you're going to start in a squat position, jump up. Landing nice, soft, and controlled. You don't want to land hard, you want to protect those knees, protect those ankles. So again, we got 30 seconds of explosive jumps, making sure you're keeping that heart rate elevated. Just like that, 30 seconds. Nice and easy on the breath. You got one round done. Gotta repeat this two more times. Again, taking it down for a quick demonstration so you really get this, all right? In and out. 15 repetitions. Chest up, chin up. Up you go again. Right back into your explosive jumps. 30 seconds on the timer. On the second hand on the clock. Let's go, keep it going, 30 seconds. So you repeat this circuit three times in total. Now, come back for your cool down and stretch. We'll see you back in a sec. All right, so congratulations. You made it through your 20 minute high intensity interval training and I bet you are ready for a cool down and stretch now. So let's take it down, let's get our heart rate down before we take off and get a good post-workout meal. Really important, just like the warm up, don't forget your cool down. It is critical that you give your heart rate time to relax, give your breath time to relax. So oftentimes we leave our workouts too quickly and we don't stretch and take the time to breathe. We may feel light and dizzy, especially at these high intensity workouts. It is critical that you really let your heart rate come down, you let your breath come down, you really elongate those muscles, really get them ready to recover. Really important that you get some good, some good deep stretches in there. So we're gonna take it in for, again, about three to five minute cool down. It's gonna look something like this. Just take a nice deep breath in, wide stance in the legs, arms up overhead, and exhale. Again, nice deep breath in through the nose, and you're going to exhale down. Whew. Excellent. All right, so you're going to take those feet, rock them together, cross it over. We're going to go into a nice hamstring stretch. So I'll take it from the side. It's easier to visualize. Again, crossing those feet over. You're going to push your hips back, imaginary wall behind you. You're going to push them back as far as you can, placing your hands on your knees, chest up, back is flat, shoulders are back and relaxed. You're going to feel that stretch right in the hamstring. Very common tight area for most people, so you want to give your muscles a couple of seconds here to get a nice deep stretch. And then you'll switch legs, so cross it over, deep breath in, exhale. As you come back down, back is flat, core is engaged, really relaxing into that stretch. And come right back up nice and slow again, feet together, deep breath in. Exhale, we're gonna take it down into a squat position. Really important, we did a lot of plyometrics, did a lot of explosive movements in that high intensity workout. 
really want to make sure that you stretch your inner thighs out, okay? And make sure you stretch out your hip flexors. So take it down to the floor. This is how low you can go comfortably. Then stay there. Just give yourself a few seconds. If you can go a bit deeper, grab your ankles, squat down low. Make sure you drop your glutes as close to the floor as you can. That's really going to give you a good deep stretch in your glutes and your hip flexors as well. You can place your hands in front and make sure you give yourself, again, a few seconds to sit there. Don't bounce. Just sit there. Take a couple of deep breaths. Let your muscles relax into the stretch. Walking those feet in again. You want to make sure that you're letting your heart rate come down. So come up nice and slow. Exhale. Right into the next stretch. We'll take it to the side for a nice deep lunge. You might want to use your mat for this as a floor sometimes can be hard on your knees. Take it down to the floor. Now, keeping your hips square, you want to lunge into that stretch. Keep your knee behind your toe. Deep breath in. Grabbing your um, wrist is what I like to find a comfortable position. Extend and twist to the outside leg. You're going to feel that stretch all the way to your triceps, right down in your lats. And because you're lunging in, you're also going to feel that stretch in your lower body as well. Hold it there for a few seconds. Catch your balance and switch sides. So now we're switching opposite leg again. Deep breath in, lunging from the hips. Lunge in, knees behind the toe. Deep breath in, grabbing your opposite wrist and twisting. What a really nice stretch in your upper lats, your upper back there. It feels fantastic. Make sure you give yourself a couple of deep breaths again, allowing the muscles to relax in that stretch. We're gonna take it down to the floor. So taking it down. If you're feeling your lower back tight from all those crunches and in and outs, we're going to focus on a lower back stretch. So you want to sit nice and tall in a tall position. Again, pull yourself up, taking your right leg, crossing it over your left, pulling that knee in as close as you can. Unless you have a belly like mine, you're going to go as close as you can with that belly in the way. So bringing that knee into your chest, and then you're going to nice and gently twist behind you, taking your left hand, placing on your right knee, take this right hand, extend it behind, and twist. Don't hunch down. Pull yourself right up. Chest is up. Feel that nice stretch all the way from your lower back all the way up to your upper. Now crossing it over. Second leg. Left foot goes over. Deep breath in, right? And exhale as you twist. You might find that one side's tighter than the other. So if you do find one side tighter, just give yourself a few extra seconds to hold that stretch. Your heart rate should be coming down nice and good now. So cross it over, nice comfortable position. You can pull yourself back up. Really important with these high intensity workouts that you take a few moments to stretch at your neck because this can often get tight when you're really pushing hard in these short periods of time. So you want to take your right hand, your right index finger, cross it over to your ear, tuck it into your ear there, and nice gentle pull. Just lean, lean to the opposite side of your shoulder. You really want to elongate the space between your shoulder and your ear. You don't want to pull, you don't want to bounce. Again, just deep breath. Now slowly start to bring your chin on an angle. As you bring it on an angle, you're going to feel a much deeper stretch. On the left side of your neck. Roll it into the center. Opposite hand, take that left hand, left index finger, tuck it into your ear. Inhale. Exhale. As you exhale, just let the body relax. Let that chin tuck into your chest. Take it into an angle all the way to the front, deep breath in, fully extend it back, keeping those shoulders away from your ears, Whew. and right now your heart rate should be down, your body should be really nice and warmed up and relaxed and you're ready to take it to an amazing post-workout meal, so thank you guys, congratulations, you made it through your 20 minute high intensity metabolic meltdown workout, fantastic full body workout, I certainly hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe button is up on the left top, top left hand corner because I'm always adding new videos, new workouts to keep you guys entertained, challenged, and constantly seeing results. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you this weekend at the conference.